Good evening, my lovelies. Well, a bit disappointed with the amount of voting, but thank you to those who did. I think we're going to start off with the vice and see how we get on this evening. So, I've already sprayed. We're 50-50 to loosen things up, hopefully, but we will see. I hope you're all doing well. Oh, anyway, that one's okay. And that one's okay. Some of this will be done on time lapse. Because I think you guys have seen how an angle grinder works, how a belt sander works, and so on and so forth. That's come off nice and easy. Hopefully I haven't jinxed myself. Uh, don't know if you can read that. I can't yet. Yeah. Looks like a H and then an AND and then three dots. How are we doing? Can we see that? Right. Right, uh, I'm going to have to make a new one of these. This is one I found and hopefully I can, I can make this work. I don't know what it is or where it's from, but like most of you, I don't chuck anything away. Right, let's see if we can undo those. And what better way than to use a Garrington? Oh, that was okay. And that was okay. They've been soaking, well, since I last done a video. There's another three dots there. Uh, obviously not wire wheeled yet. Now, I'm thinking that this might be an apprentice piece. Because you got a bolt like that, you got a bolt like that. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Now, you must slide off, I assume. Or not. We shall give it a friendly tap and see what happens. Is there a pin? Now I'm sure you're all shouting at me now. Don't do it like this. Surely that must come off there. Right, I'm going to pause you while I figure this out. Bear with me. Right, I'm back and it's apart. As you can see, these pins here were holding it in. Uh, I'm not going to take it apart any further than that. Because all this is movable. And I can get to pretty much everything. If it's not with the wire wheel, it'll be with the Dremel. So. Let's get started. But yeah, I still reckon this is an apprentice piece. I don't think this is off the shelf I could be wrong as always let me know in the comments 
but yes right I'm gonna set things up and I'll be back with you right I couldn't find the time lapse at the moment so I'll have to get back to you but gloves are on let's have a have a play apologize for the noise Very hard steel. Extremely hard. Nice steel. No more markings visible yet, if at all. I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want to heat it up and ruin the temper because I assume this is been tempered. I like it, it just cracks. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Might have to be a uh, Dremel in there. But yeah, I think it's going to take a clean very well. Right, pause you again. Oh, I shall see you in a minute. Well, me again, but like a fool, I've only just realised I've gotten. Uh, I pressed on pause, but I hadn't pressed on pause. So you missed all the fun. But you get the end result. But I'm sure some of you would prefer that. Yes. I don't know, you know, how long the paint has stayed there. It hasn't had a mirror finish. Oh, and it bit me. But it works, it slides. It looks clean and tidy. I enjoyed it. Uh, I must admit, that wasn't easy, but it works. It looked nice on the shelf. I don't cut, men, cut much pipe in my life. Actually, I've never cut a pipe. But yes, I've evened that off, because that just looked wrong. Not perfect, but perfect enough for me. 
Let me know what you think. Don't be cruel, be kind. And please subscribe, comment, and soon I'll get some more done. Uh, to be honest with you, it took longer than I anticipated. But no, it was fun. It was fun. Well, hope you enjoyed some of it and the final results. Sorry you missed all the bits in the middle. And I shall speak to you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye for now.